super slow day of fishing at the old watering hole but man the variety there we go something small here what do we got coming in hot oh, it's a beautiful pumpkin seed doing some bait fishing today look how round this guy is <laughs> I think I got a carp on I think I got a carp on. That's not what I wanted. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> he went for the rhubarb, man. I'm just doing some uh, shore fishing off of this rocky shore here with worms. Dang it. Dang it. Stupid carp. It's going to ruin my line, man. They... they, they they, all this pressure on the line ruins it. He's coming back. He's not huge, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a carp or a catfish, one or the other. Probably a carp. At least I got him on the 8-pound test. <laughs> this is so incredibly daggle. <laughs> Stupid carp. <laughs> Surprises didn't happen last time I was here. I guess I'm overdue. <laughs> Come here, Dingus. He's pretty close. This can't be a big one. He doesn't feel very big. I mean, I've caught a number of them over 30 pounds over the years. This guy does not feel that heavy at all. Usually they're smaller in the lake. Yeah, it's a carp. I see it. I see you over there, Mr. Carp. Ah. Uh. The hard part's uh, wearing them out, so they'll come in and it's right there. <laughs> Been a while since I fought a carp, especially legitimately. Once in a while you accidentally snag them in the rivers, which is no good, but this one ate the worm, that's for sure. I'm trying to wear them out so I can beach them, I guess. Maybe I'll beach him in that little, that little cove right there. If I can move the other rod over. It's not exhausted yet. I just tossed my other rod over to the side. I'm going to try and beach him in this little beaver slough right next to me. I'm going to try. Here we go. If he, if he will cooperate, we'll see here. Come here, cooperate. <laughs> yeah, small carp, I guess. You can say. Oh, he did not like that. He does not want to get beached. All right. I mean, it's not tiny, at least. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You get back here, you little dingus. <laughs> Playing around with a carp. <laughs> you get back here. Hey. Yeah, you. Get back here. <sighs> this is the hard part, man. Getting them to cooperate. Get right up in that beaver slough there. There he is. Got him, I think. I think I got him. Got him. 
She's got a big belly, I'll tell you that much. She's not a huge carp. I've caught them way, way bigger than this. But, she's a good size one, I guess. 34 and a half inches, big belly. There we go. Something spunky on, might be a nice size bullhead. That's what it feels like. Just sitting on my little cushy chair, doing some worm fishing. Bite is slow, but I'll take it. At least there is a bite. <laughs> it's a bass. I would have never guessed that. That's so funny. It's a nice little smallmouth to release. That's funny. On the night crawler. <laughs> there we go. Something coming in hot. <laughs> it's a perch. The perch are still here. Yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. Beautiful specimen. So I guess by in fisherman standards, that's technically a master angler carp, but that I caught just a few minutes ago. But uh, I've caught so many over the years that have been that size or larger, though, that it really doesn't mean a whole lot to me, to be totally honest with you. So I have two poles and I'm using pretty much the most ghetto setup possible. <laughs> I'm using a split shot, a bait holder hook, and a worm on each pole. As simple as that. What do we got? Nice variety day. We got a bullhead son and she's a spunk spunky one. Good good decent size spunky one. Come here, dingus. Gotcha. Just a beautiful brown bullhead right there. I don't know what I got here. <laughs> I think I got another carp on. Nuts. Yeah, I got another carp on. Not what I wanted, but I guess uh, beggars can't be choosers. This day has been reflective of my uh, previous experiences in areas like this. You get a wide variety of fish on, um, on, uh, let me move my pole over, <laughs> my other pole. You get a wide variety of fish on rocky shores like this. Come here, dingus. Feels smaller than the other one. Kind of forcing them in. Thankfully, I had got both of these ones on the eight pound test instead of the six. That's helpful. Holy cow, okay, he's dogging it, he's dogging it. <laughs> Lol. He's dogging it hard. That's funny. Trying to force him in, but yeah. And more dang carp than panfish, man, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I see you there, you little spunky little little bugger. You're eating up my my watch time. No one wants to watch me fight a dingus little carp. <laughs> I got him on the. I think I got him by the fin. I think here's the other. He's just all wrapped up in the line, which is very very possible. No, he's just wrapped up in the line. <laughs> got him. I got him in the mouth. He was just all wrapped up in the line. Fat little bugger. Definitely not as long as the last one, but still kind of hefty because of the gut. Going back in the drink. Just had a bass fall off literally right on shore. So I uh, roughly measured that carp, that latest carp, before releasing her. And she was in the 31 inch class. So just a small one. What do we got here? We got a walleye. Our, I think this is species number six for today. I think. If I'm counting right. If I'm, if 
I'm using my degree in math and engineering correctly. <laughs> Beautiful little walleye. Oh man, I was tending to the other pole and this one almost got pulled in. <laughs> this has been a very slow bite today. However, the variety has been super awesome. What do we got? What do we got? Another walleye? You can tell it's getting towards the end of the day. The walleye are starting to hit. Yeah, I'll release this one just like I did the last one. <laughs> Double header. Something on this rod now. At the exact same time of that, that last walleye hit. This is the pole I was waiting for him to commit on and he clearly did. What do we got? Another walleye. Jeepers. This place is renowned for its um, undersized walleyes. They have to be 18 here and most of them are 17. Just lost a walleye trying to uh, swing it up on the bank in front of me. Ooh, it's a big perch. Bigger at least. Yeah, it's not a big one, but it's bigger. Very cool. I wouldn't call them a big one until they hit like 14 inches. That's a nice solid 13 though. Beautiful. So for equipment today, I've been using a pair of six foot, six inch, medium power, fast action rods, Fluger Presidents, and one has six pound mono and the other has eight. Very simple rigging today. A bait holder hook with a whole night crawler on it and a split shot a little bit up the line. 